Can you please help me understand why we spending so much money on soap and bubble bath and whatever else y'all using to wash your asses? Because we don't want to stink, why nigga. Why does it cost $574 million to wash the black ass? <laughs> hundred and seventy four million dollars to oh. wash the black ass help me understand that nigga want us to stop washing our ass to help him with his school i'm not giving you nothing go find it i'm not accountable to you go find it i don't owe no damn youtube and instagram coons no answers i'm not accountable to you brother go find your own statistics you damn coon probably got a white <laughs> Yo, what's going on, everybody? Man, it's your boy Dave. Today, I'm bringing y'all another reaction video. Now, the video is called "Is Umar Johnson Still in Electricity?" I, I, I just don't know what to do no more. I, I can't read, bro. I can't see because the lights that I'm using. I got a hood set up. I got two bright ass lights. I ain't got the ring light. I just got real ass lights that you know you're having in your ceiling or something pointing at me like that, like a lamp, a lamp light. That's basically what I got. That's what I, so I can't see the TV screen. I can't read it. But anywho, if you're new to the channel, y'all make sure y'all leave a like, you comment, subscribe. With that being said, this is not no Dr. Umar hate video. This is not no Dr. Umar hate video. This is no Dr. Umar hate video. The brothers and sisters, I'm, I'm just reacting to this video. And if uh, you white, you can go and clear out the video right now. I'm just telling you what Dr. Umar would just want, want me to say. And see, I'm talking through the ancestors. So let's go out directly to the video. We thirsty too, man. Y'all make sure y'all hydrate because it's getting hot as hell, man. God damn, it got to be 80 degrees today. It's comedy and consciousness. I just want to let y'all know that we went <clears throat> to the full video for the Ooh. receipts for the bills of this trap bando called FDMG is in the description. If you wanted to do your own research. How hot is it today? I just wanted to put the important clips in the video. All right, y'all. Uh oh, hold on, phone. The That's the wrong the tab on the phone. Africanism, King Kong consciousness. Oh, y'all didn't hear that. I'm right outside the Drop Squad kitchen. Right outside the Drop Squad kitchen. Shout out to Abundance. It's 61 Star degrees family. right now. Two, My three weeks ago, we had snow. Abundance. We were supposed to come have dinner last night, but we had a caterer come down from Philly, and uh, we were going to do lunch, but we got to her too late, so she ended up providing a wonderful, wonderful dinner, good sister. She's also a vegan chef like yourself. We thought you were open. You vegan, Death Uma? Drop Squad kitchen to have our lunch with abundance, our last supper as the Loyal Donor Club, first annual paint day donors, but that's okay. We on the water. Hell no. Nah. I ain't going to, I ain't going to eat with nobody and they prefer to their meal as the last supper. But hell, who finna die? <laughs> Front. And the I ain't going. Right next door is open. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to eat at the restaurant right next door. It's King Kong Consciousness in a continental E5 tune day. We got about two hours. In the corner, you know, like the Lincoln. About 90 minutes of painting in the day. The rain's supposed to stop at 3 o'clock, and we're going to go back and finish the job. We 99% done. We got a little bit on the back of a gym, a little bit, couple little dips and dabs here and there, but we 99% done. And then Brother Naeem, our paint contractor, his team, they're going to finish up at the top of the buildings where we can't reach, and then they're going to line up the windows in the white. And then I got my sign company coming through with the FDMG sign, brothers and sisters. We're going to put the sign on front of the building to finish the work. I said, we're going to put the sign on front of the building to finish the work. I said, we're I said, we going to put, put the sign. sign. I knew he was going to do it again. Now get on your cash out. Building, because we got to finish the work, brothers and sisters. We out here. You by tune day, you. Matter of fact, since y'all watching this video, I know y'all got y'all stimulus. Look, y'all got y'all stimulus. Y'all got a uh, y'all tax refund, and y'all got some what's my call? Now y'all need to send some money, Doctor Umar. Y'all can send some money, Doctor Umar. I'm not gonna do, it. but y'all can send some money, Doctor Umar, man. This is all of us say. Go ahead and send send five dollars on the cash out. No matter pay all you have, but next time Please get ten. You no, know, you can't just make videos and consider yourself an activist, exactly. a revolutionary, a pan Africanist. You guys can sit up and make all the YouTube videos, but guess what? That school's still going to open. That's so, right. Um, when did I saw you little bitch ass uh, live last night? Ooh! Go ahead. You got it. Go ahead. Speak your talk, sister. 
working, you need to get a job while you sit there worrying about us. You need to worry about focusing on your own house. You booty about me? bandit. I'm oh, damn, I ain't talking about me. Hot chocolate in Utah. Hot chocolate in Utah. I ain't talking about me. I ain't no booty bandit. Hot chocolate in Utah. Hot chocolate What's up? Can't do that. Hot I can cook for that. chocolate in Utah. Hot chocolate in Utah. Man, Man this better not. This nigga a judge? Family. I threw about putting that paint in. The game. Liberation is the game. E5 I hope is that's paint. We are inside of the most honorable Marcus Messiah Garvey Elementary School. Frederick Douglass Marcus Garvey Academy, building number two. Brothers and sisters, we are working towards our goal. Okay, we in the school. FDMG. We working, we pushing. This will be a school for black boys. We don't care who don't like it. It will be a school for black boys. Okay? Now y'all can listen to them or y'all can listen to us. The only people who know what's going on inside of this school are those of us who are here making the job work. You can come in. My hand is up. I found it very funny that in Dr. Umar's Instagram post that he said people who should not be asking about the internal affairs of FDMG are calling the city. Well, when you run a nonprofit Everybody knows that all your documents, all your information, the bills that you pay is public information. If you were running a private, privately owned corporation, then that information would be private and I would not be able to do what I'm about to do right now. So go to the website, right? Uh huh. Go to the red button right here, which says pay my bill. Why my dumb ass almost reached my, my phone? On permit fee. Okay. When you click on permit fee, then you want to look at this menu to the right of your screen and then click on utility billing. Now, Jeez, it's, you damn, utility you went too fast. Billing, then you can actually choose how you want to search the information. All you have to do to find the information for Dr. Umar's school is type Frederick Douglass and Marcus caps, Garvey. By the way, Frederick Douglass and Marcus Garvey. Shout out to Make a Change also because I learned this from him. So when you click search, it's going to pull up seven different bills uh, for the Frederick Douglass and Marcus Garvey entity. So what we're going to do is look at all of these bills, and you're going to see something very interesting. When we uh, look at this information in more detail, so I don't have any organized economics. I thought he was gonna show us. Then we gotta be later on the video. Two hundred fifty thousand dollars, so we can fix the HVAC system at the Frederick Douglass Marcus Garvey Academy, so we can educate black boys. Tell them, Umar, they got they they got they stimulus, they stimulus. They gonna spend it on crab. I, I am too, but still. And y'all crying. I can send a man some money. Finish up a school. And y'all crying about helping me finish up a school and you at Saks Fifth Avenue, Neiman Marcus, and Bloomingdale's. Hey, man. That school might be temporary, but that drip going to be forever. Black people spend $574 million on soap and bathing products alone. This point, Black not... people spend $574 million on soap and bathing products alone. We're not supposed to wash our ass or something? $574 million on Nigga, get to your point. I'm trying to figure out what you're talking about. Products alone. Can you please help me understand why we spending so much money on soap and bubble bath and whatever else y'all using to wash your asses? Because we don't want to stink, nigga. Why does it cost $574 million to wash the black ass? <laughs> hundred and seventy four million dollars to oh. wash the black ass help me understand that nigga want us to stop washing our ass to help him with his school i'm not giving you nothing go find it i'm not accountable to you go find it i don't owe no damn youtube and instagram coons no answers i'm not accountable to you brother go find your own statistics you damn coon probably got a white <laughs> Oh my God, bro! What kind of oh, hold on. 
the fact that he have made saying you probably got a white girl or is soap, bro. That is hilarious, bro. Oh what my god. Soap? What kind of liquid soap? What kind of sponge? What kind of rag? What kind of shampoo are we using? Let me let me go and break y'all down right quick. All right. Now to my left over here, I got three packs of Dove 14 bars or so, right? And I got another three on the way. Shout out to Fat Kid Deals on uh Twitter. If you don't know nothing about them, go follow them, man. They be posting all the deals that be on Amazon. If you ain't hooked to it, I don't know what you're doing with your life. You need to go ahead and go and follow them, man. I didn't bought, you might want to say $60 worth of soap over here. Damn, you might be about right. Why the hell are we spending that much money on soap? I got $60 worth of soap over here, and it's going to last me for about two years. Think about it. 14 bars. The average soap bar lasts you, what, a month and a half? Or even a month. Let's say a month per soap bar. That is, I'm not agreeing with Dr. Umar, but y'all see where I'm going. So 24, that's two years. Even if it's not, like I said, I got six packs of 14 coming. Where the hell I get 24 from? 14 plus 14 is 28. So what's another? 32? No, it's 42. So even 42, 42 bars of soap should last me. That one number $30. That should last me two years. I kind of see where he going, but I'm, I still prefer to wash my ass. I assume a lot of this is for the permanent weave, sisters. I oh. assume a lot of this is for the permanent weave, because I know y'all got to use certain shampoo to wash out that perm smell and perm juice. So I think a lot of this is for the shampoo. She only want me for my perm juice. I think a lot of this is for the shampoos and conditions. I think a lot of this is for the shampoos and conditions. Listen to this. That's the boy. See that? See the wire? Uh-huh. What he wire? Did y'all catch it? Hell no, I ain't catch no wire. Go back. Like that. Mm -hmm. So, take y'all on down this hallway. See, look. Oh, That's the boy. why he running? He goes all the way down the hall. He ain't running the wire down the phone. Yeah, this is cool. Uh, yeah, remember that. Fixed up. Remember that. We working on it. The water fountain there. Point. This is the critical question. Watch here. We're almost done. Watch. We're getting there. Remember, we saw this. It's going all the way down the hall. Where is it going to, by the way? Do we, do we hear an electric generator down that way? No. Where is it going exactly? Well, here, let's go. No right. Excuse me, young lady. Here it is again. <laughs> this a little, oh, what we got here? Yeah, another room. Nice sizes, though. Nice sizes. Man, go get some damn ceiling tiles. Put them holes in there, man. Panel, light panels that need to be installed in here. This is this is so dangerous. Read the lights into it. There's that cable of that uh, extension cord too. You guys see it? Okay, watch. Well, follow me because yeah. it's going to get to that point where you guys are going to be like, "Where is this going? Where is the extension cord going to?" Yeah. See it? <clears throat> All the way down. So we're getting there, boy. It feels good. Woo, it feels good. Oh, sure. Sure. <laughs> Around the corner. Yeah, now so, watch. Man, almost to the finish line. No, you clear. Watch us. Oh, oh, I forget that. Did you see that? Hell no. I, I ain't gonna lie. I was singing a song in my head. I ain't, I ain't gonna lie to you. I was singing Ty Dollar Sign. Go back. Watch us. Oh. Look, people. Oh, I. This going back outside. Where's it going? <clears throat> I forget that. I'll kill for my meat loaf. Oh, thank you, huh? So much. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Oh, man, I'll be calling you again and again. We Forgive we the last minute, too, because I no, called cool. you. Okay. It goes outside. Get on them, uh, Mr. Honor. What you got to say about that, brother? Important life. Feels good. Take time. Woo, it feels good. Oh, sure. Sure. Yeah, so. Man, almost to the finish line. No, you you there. Don't forget your food. Watch y'all. Oh, oh, I ain't forgetting that. I'll kill for my meatloaf. So, oh, oh, I ain't forgetting that. So, oh, oh, I ain't forgetting that. Oh, he doesn't want to. Okay. Of all beauty products Turn them up in my headphones. Bought in America are bought by black people. Did y'all hear what I just said? Ninety. Did you hear what I just said? Did Ain't no far. We want to look and smell good, man. Oh shit. I did mine. You do yours. I don't feel like looking up statistics. Statistics be lying. Beauty products sold in America 
are sold to black people. Uh-huh, brother. 90% of all beauty products what in, the hell? in America are sold to black people. Don't you, you find, find that this lag over here? Don't you find that ridiculous? Ridiculous? Don't you find that ridiculous, brothers and sisters? On the hall. Not really. Look at this. Look at the wiring. Look at this. There's wires here on the ground. Watch this. In girls' bathroom. You gotta do. Look at the look at the ceiling. See this? Why the ceiling look like that, man? No, you can't be showing folks that. Clean it up first. There's wires coming down. <clears throat> This is another reason why um, it's very clear to me that Umar doesn't have electricity from uh, this from the power company because they would have to have it would have to pass code, obviously, but they would come have an inspector come out. And if they're seeing exposed wires like this, there's no way that they would uh, funnel a, a power to this building. This makes sense to people because this would be a fire. Makes power. sense to me, brother. This would be a shock. This is not no Dr. Umar hate thing. video. This makes sense to people. And, and if you guys notice later on in this video, you'll see a lot of exposed wires in this. But this is one of the ways that, that is very clear and very evident that Umar Johnson, this is not legitimate. This makes sense? So, yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Man, I know you damn well. You Only see all that nut in your beard, man. On the phone. Only mm -hmm. got a little bit of juice. So, yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. I only got a little bit of juice on the phone. Only got a little bit of juice. So, Soldier got the juice. This is going to be our last walk of the hallway. Frederick Douglass Marcus, Marcus Garvey, Garvey Academy. King Kong Conscious. Conscious ain't got nothing on no, Dr. Pan Umar. Africanism. Prince of Pan Pieces. Y'all did. Think about this, that if you have exposed wires coming all out your, the ceiling and, and, you know, even out the wall or what have you, and your property has been on the vacant list, the first thing that they have to do in terms of, of getting service uh, power uh, provided is they have to have an inspector come out and inspect to make sure that the, the building is up the code and that there's no exposed wires, that everything is functional so that when they, when, they, when they hit that switch for power to come in, it doesn't start a fire or it doesn't, it's not an electric hazard because you can end up killing someone or you can kill a group of people or you can kill, kill children who are in there. Mm-hmm. Talk your ish, brother. This is another reason why it's very clear that Umar doesn't have insurance because insurance, there's no insurance uh, uh, carrier that. Oh hell no, insurance ain't gonna they prove this shit. Look at this shit like this. Look. I know that firsthand. You mean to tell me that he has power legitimately running throughout this building? Hey, they go. Hell no, nah, they gonna walk in and walk right back on now. They not insuring that shit, man. Again, Umar Johnson, he self-exposes and he self-incriminates. And this picture right here, this image right here, it tells the truth in and of itself. Big man, you're turning your back on ancestors who caught hell for 400 years. I'm not turning my back on my ancestors. So y'all could go somewhere else with dying from Africa bullshit because you disrespecting your whole ancestral lineage. You disrespecting the ancestors upon whose shoulders we stand, brothers and sisters. Hit your cash app, dollar sign FDMG school. Hit your PayPal, paypal.me slash. I can't, I got I, I, my account. I owe them $500. App, dollar dollar sign FDMG That's a story for another day. It's coming soon. That, that's a real legit FDMG story. Oh, PayPal, $400 right now. At DrUmarJohnson.com. Will Today I pay it? November 1st, yeah, and we will yeah. be at Nat Turner November the 11th. Today is 111, and we will be at Nat Turner at 1111. Today is 111, but we will be at Nat Turner at 1111. Go to Nat Turner. Umar. He smoked it's the out. year one? You ain't got no organized economics. And y'all think voting matters when you don't have any organized economics. And y'all crying about $250,000 so we can fix the HVAC system at the Frederick Douglass Marcus Garvey Academy so we can educate black boys. And y'all think, and y'all crying about helping me finish up a school. And y'all crying about helping me finish up a school and you at Saks Fifth Avenue, Neiman Marcus, and Bloomingdale's. But you got on polo, big brother. How much that cost ready you, man? For the next statistic, about a hundred and ten dollars sweater you got on there. Black people spend five hundred and seventy-four million dollars on soap and bathing products alone. Did Black you already people say that? spend five hundred and seventy-four million dollars on soap and bathing products alone alone black people spend 574 million dollars on soap 
and bathing products alone. Can you please help me understand why we spending so much money on soap and bubble bath and whatever else y'all using to wash your asses? Why does it cost 570 Yeah, he already said all this. I'm just making to sure. Wash the black ass. Yeah, I remember Why laughing at that. Why does it cost $574 million to wash the black ass? Help yeah, me brother. Understand. Don't ask me where I got my statistics from, brother. Where did I, I got a white girl. Numbers? Go find it. I'm not giving you nothing. Go find it. I'm not accountable to you. Go find it. Damn I don't coon. Know no damn YouTube and Instagram coons no answers. I'm not accountable to you, brother. Go find your own statistics, you damn coon. Probably got a white girl. <laughs> why are we? Why does it cost five hundred? Eighty-five, ninety-eight. All right. So just for the utilities to be cut on, let's say hypothetically, well, the utilities are active for the sewer, but we're saying as far as the overall utility, how far he is behind, he will have to come up with fifteen thousand dollars. So now you guys see why Dr. Umar did not, you know, want to show you guys what he has set up as far as the generator or whoever he stole power from. He can't get the power cut on because he doesn't have 15000 to just sell away. They're going to continue to charge. Damn, they really exposed that nigga on this video. The city service of the sewer, you know, managing the energy inside the sewer, but as far as cutting the actual lights on, you have to pay that balance in full before they will actually even deal with you. So $15,076.38. And Tell Dr. Umar to holler at me. I got the $6.38. No payment activity. No payment activity whatsoever. So does this sound like somebody that you want running a, a school for your child when they can't even pay a basic bill of you know maybe forty five dollars a month, two hundred dollars a month, three hundred dollars a month, and then they let things get out of hand like this, and then get upset when people ask questions. When anybody that knows, anybody that has a nonprofit, this information is publicly verifiable. Now, if somebody wanted to go look my name up and go look my bills up, they wouldn't be able to do it. Right, because I'm a private, private citizen. Yeah. If I had a private company, then they would not be able to look up my utility bills. But when you open up a nonprofit, you are opening yourself up to the public. So Another putting us on game, man. Eh? Public for asking questions or calling and to verify information. And you cannot say you only have to answer, you know, questions from your donors because this is a nonprofit, which means you have to provide information not only to your donors, but to the city, to the state, and to the federal government. So you have to answer to everybody, bro. Okay. Okay. Oh, this school that we building doesn't exist. This school that we building doesn't exist. Damn, Dr. Umar, Dr. Umar, Dr. Umar. It ain't looking good on this particular video. I thought this was going to be something funny. They, they hit your ass with some facts. Well, I'm not going to say facts. We got to hear his other side of it, too. But the evidence right there, man. The evidence is uh, irresputable. I think that's the right word. If it's not, we're going to keep it going. And with that being said, I'm going to holler at y'all later. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga is on the ground, bro. Nah, Cody, bro. Why are you just looking at